the beef master breed and its performance in Colombia. In looking to produce more meat with little investment, the cattle rancher Tom Lasseter created the Beef Master in 1931 in South Texas. He did so by crossing Brahman and Shorthorn F1s with Brahman and Hereford F1s. That's how he discovered that crossing these three breeds gave an excellent return. From the beginning, the cattle rancher Lasseter reared and developed the breed so that it could produce excellent results in difficult conditions and by only grazing. This continued for several years until he started selecting based on six characteristic features that deal with economic performance, productive and reproductive efficiency. It is important to clarify that the breed has been declared as pure by the United States Department of Agriculture and the breed is currently positioned in several countries. The first specimens of the breed arrived in Colombia in the year 1991, imported from the U.S. With the passing of time, and thanks to a great adaptation and excellent production, today it can be found distributed across the most representative livestock regions in the country. One of the things that led us to work with the Beefmaster was that we did some tests around 10 years ago by taking commercial white and seven color or mixed herds in order to cross them with Beefmaster bulls. When we saw the excellent results of this cross, we took the decision to try to start working on the purebred livestock. Barranca Bermeja is an area with a very elevated and humid temperature, and that also made us consider this breed, a breed that adapts easily to any temperature. Because it is a breed that is half Bos Indicus and half Bos Taurus, it is a breed that can really adapt to any climate. My name is Jorge Arango, and I'm the animal conductor of the Alamos. This is my profession, my job. I'm the one who takes the voice of the cattle farm. In other words, I prepare the cattle for the festivals, and right now, at this moment, I feel good because I've got this art. I like it a lot. A very good morning to all the cattle ranchers and visitors that are here with us today at the first Beef Master exhibition in Colombia. And as our judge here today, we have Dr. Steve Emmons, who has come from Houston. And translating for us is Dr. Oscar Alvarez, Colombian, but a breeder of Beefmaster cattle in the United States. I'm Steve Emmons from Fairfield, Texas. I'm here in Colombia from invitation from the Columbia Beefmaster Association to judge their first national show here in Colombia. I've been breeding Beefmaster cattle 39 years. Uh, 
that that's what I do every day is work with these beef master cattle. I've been fortunate enough to produce five national champion bulls and four Miss Beef Master Americas. Uh, and my my uh, philosophy is to breed good looking cattle that perform, that have a lot of muscle, and hopefully I can help the Colombian breeders do the same thing in order to gain uh, market share in the commercial industry in Colombia. The Beefmaster breed and its performance in Colombia. It's been five years we've been working with the pure breed as such, without discarding the possibility and continue working with commercial bull herds and to get from there the receptors we may need at this moment to work at the farm. This farm is made up of 320 hectares, distributed in 50 areas, each one divided up into eight paddocks with umidicola grass. The truth is, the grass we use here in this region is, due to the somewhat thin earth, is a type of grass that behaves well in this zone. All the paddocks at the farm have a concrete roof and floor so that the animals can easily consume the water and salt. This paddock is rearing at the moment 22 purebred female calves of the Beefmaster breed. These will go on to make up the farm's breeding herd. Here at this cattle ranch, there are approximately 280 heads of purebred cattle, with another percentage of heifers and cows, which are used as receptors. Some of these were bought to have some dairy cow influence in order to give more as well as better milk quality to the calves. Others are a result of crossing mixed cows with beef master bulls. Beef master. The first exhibition of Beefmaster cattle was attended by a very important person, none other than a descendant of Tom Lasseter. Since he was young, he has been expanding his grandfather's creation throughout the world. Uh, my name is Lorenzo Lasseter. I'm from San Angelo, Texas. I'm the uh, grandson of the founder of the Beefmaster breed, Tom Lasseter. Um, I've been in the round Beefmaster cattle my entire life. My parents had them my whole life. I've, since I graduated from university, I've been involved in the family business for 20 years. I'm president of ESA Cattle Company, which is our operating company. And I'm past president of Beefmaster Breeders United and served on chair just about every committee, including the International Committee currently. Good genes signifies good economics. Tom Lasseter, Beefmaster Breed Creator. I think it's the seventh largest in terms of registrations in the United States, but it'd be the largest of the American breeds, the American breeds bringing, being Brahmin, Brangus, uh, Santa Gertrudis. So Beefmasters is, is bigger than all those combined in the United States. So our role as an American or Zebu influenced breed, um, we're by far the largest and, and the most critical. The U.S. industry has gone through an interesting and, and a, a hard period over the last 20 years when the majority of the commercial cow herd in the U.S. has become Angus based or Angus, straight Angus and that now is not paying off as well and so there's a real interest in getting back to some zebu influenced cattle beef masters are at the top of that list because of their great maternal and growth traits so that's been a real a, a real advantage in the u.s cattle market The most important thing when showcasing an animal is to stand it properly so it can show its phenotype, its muscles and its back. The animal must be posing properly so that the judge won't disqualify him for any little thing because a good animal without someone good to show him off and pose him, well, he could be a good animal, but if the person is bad, then the animal could be disqualified for many reasons.
The judging part is essential. It's the part we all live through, where we have that great passion of taking our animals to then have them compete with others of the same breed and with other breeders. Number 16, the great champion. Many congratulations. Well, I mean, I think a person has to have uh, cattle knowledge to begin with and then uh, have a passion, you know, for the animals they're judging and they will, you know, they will seek out the knowledge they need you know, from, from other industry judges, other leaders, to become, you know, a judge theirself. I mean, and each judge probably has a little different look on some cattle. I'm, I'm real big on the top line in these cattle and the muscle in these cattle because that's what we market. That's what we market as meat. The, the meat, the cuts out the top of these cattle. The Beefmaster breed and its performance in Colombia. Here at the stables, we manage what is called a half pension, which means that cattle come in to enjoy a ration as of 7 a.m. every morning, which consists of a small portion of silo weighing around 7 kilos, along with 2 kilos of concentrate per animal. After, at around noon, the animals go out and enjoy the grazing this farm can provide. Here we are appreciating a 13-month-old female calf of the Beefmaster breed and, as you can see, she is a well-characterized calf, a calf that shows us good pigmentation around her eyes, a calf with good capacity and a strong thoracic depth at the withers. And we see a good detachment of the tail with good muscles and excellent aplomb. It is a calf that, Judging by its age and the characteristics it's showing, it's going to be a great calf, one which will surely be used as a donator of embryos here at the farm. The beef master breed is the only breed of beef cattle that was developed taking into account six essential characteristics of production. Tameness. Docility means a calm and tranquil animal in the countryside. It is an animal where, if you find yourself amongst them, you won't be afraid they will attack. Fertility. I'm saying that these animals, I have and I can, if I want to, impregnate them when they are 14 months of age. At this age, these animals already weigh approximately 400 kilos, and these animals with that weight are already menstruating. Maternal ability. Cuidan muy bien a su cría. They take good care of their offspring, not just by caring for it, but with their production of milk, which is sufficient enough for the calf to gain weight, which is of approximately one kilo, a pound and a half or one kilo, sometimes a bit more, depending on the nutrition given the animal. Rusticidad. Rusticity. This characteristic makes the Beefmaster a very versatile breed, proven to produce effectively in different climates. This cattle has a natural marked resistance to parasites and diseases, and can also take efficient advantage of low quality fodder. Weight. 
Weight gain is very important with these types of animals, and what we've been able to see is that the majority of farms in the United States have animals gaining approximately between one and a half to two pounds or even more, depending on the diet given. Confirmation. This means that the animal possesses a voluptuous body and a solid musculature accompanied by a great solid structure. El señor Mr. Lassiter expresses that he doesn't like to give out recommendations regarding the handling of the breed within the industry because this can be very relative, since what he likes and what other livestock owners like could vary greatly. He believes that the breed in Colombia has had a great start, and the only thing he recommends to others is to go on improving and to not be afraid to retire those animals that are not working. The Beefmaster breed and its performance in Colombia. We have done various tests with the different crosses, and what we have here is the result of crossing seven color or mixed cows and commercial Cebu cows with Beefmaster bulls. Out of this cross, we've obtained heifers with excellent development, with good precocity and maternal ability. When they're approximately 23 months of age and with a weight of around 400 kilos, they're used as receptors. This cattle also provides us with excellent market weight, since at the weighing station they show excellent weight in order to sell to the slaughterhouse. The data obtained from our cattle ranch has been very satisfactory to us, as well as from those ranches to which we have been able to sell our Beefmaster genetics to. In the crosses between Zebu cattle with seven color or mixed cattle, we have obtained results through which we've been able to observe a very good performance of the animals, with good weights both at weaning as well as at the time of sacrifice. With these crosses, weaning weights vary between 230 and 240 kilos in males and 210 to 220 kilos in females. And in males, we've obtained monthly weights of 22 kilos, 19 in females, by only giving them humid ecolagrass, mineralized salts, and water. It's also very satisfactory for us to listen to the comments of those who buy our fat cattle and who tell us that the return of the carcass is very favorable for them, as well as the quality of the meat, both the marbling as well as the tenderness. These catch the public's attention and are well liked by people who buy Beefmaster quality beef. We're very happy with the kind of reception that the Beefmaster cattle has received in Colombia, and we're very grateful with the people who have believed in this breed and who have used the Beefmaster studs in order to improve their cattle ranches across different parts of Colombia. We see that the breed is one that is growing every day, and we know that everyone who uses the Beefmaster breed will be happy and satisfied for having acquired excellent results from the crosses done with Beefmaster bulls. Well, the balance up to now, and speaking with the American judge, well, I think it's a good balance because they were satisfied with the first animals exhibited. 
I thought that maybe we should keep working a little bit more on the musculature, giving the animals more meat capacity, give them more volume, which is what Mr. Emmons has told us. But I think it's been very good, considering it's the first exhibition, at least for the breeders, since we've all been very attentive to the exhibition, and we've all been showing some very good animals, and we have been very well represented by the different cattle productions. Judgments motivate you to continuously improve. That's what it's about, to always be better. The repercussions are, obviously, the inherent costs, yet they are worth it in order to participate in being judged, since that is where you realize just what you have in comparison to the others. Well, I think the Colombian breeders are doing an excellent job. They have an excellent display of Beefmaster cattle here. Their association had an excellent display booth. Uh, from the cattle are well presented by the breeders. That, that's the key to when you're presenting your cattle at, at shows like this, you want them well presented because as a breed, you're competing with other breeds of cattle for a market share in the area. So you want your cattle to be as well presented in these shows as everybody else's. And you need to just work on quality of cattle because that's what, that's what all the cattlemen want. They all identify quality of cattle. And as long as they keep working on up in their quality and keep doing what they're doing, they're going to be successful. This is our life. 